What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Teen Mom OG star Amber Portwood has pled guilty to two felonies. Number one was domestic battery and the second one was for intimidation. This was at her hearing yesterday. If you recall, she was arrested on July 5th of this year for, I was almost gonna say allegedly assaulting, but now that she's pled guilty, I guess I could just say it, for assaulting her then boyfriend, Andrew Glennon, as he held on to their infant son, James. According to TMZ, when Amber pleaded guilty to intimidation, she was sentenced to 910 days in jail, um, with 906 of those days being suspended. And they also gave her credit um, for two days, which means that she still is on the hook for an additional two days. She is also on probation for 906 days and ordered to complete parenting classes, in addition to 26 weeks of a batterer intervention program. Amber will also submit to random urine and or breath testing um, throughout the duration of her probation. Um, this will happen at a minimum of one time per month and she's been ordered to pay $1,200 in court fees. She's still not allowed to communicate directly to Andrew Glennon. She can only communicate about uh, the visitation for their son through the Family Wizard app. And Raider Online is reporting that Amber will get three unsupervised visits per week with baby James. That to me is is like the shocking part of all of this. The fact that she gets unsupervised visitation with the baby in the midst of pleading guilty to domestic battery and intimidation. And this not being her first, you know, rodeo show um, when it comes to dealing with domestic violence and being criminally charged for it. And also not being the first time that she um, committed domestic violence in the presence of a minor, like both of her children had been very young when they witnessed her abusing, you know, their fathers. And here they are allowing her to have unsupervised visitation with this child who witnessed that. Um, and on top of that, Amber has a history of being heavily suicidal um, with prescription pills. So um, when it came to Gary, Gary had to call the police because Amber called him and told him that she took a handful of pills. And in this case, Andrew also testified that Amber allegedly tried to commit suicide in front of him and their child by swallowing a handful of pills. So why exactly someone like this is allowed to have unsupervised visitation with that child? is beyond me. It honestly just makes me uncomfortable. And I also forgot to mention that in the audio that leaked before, we heard as Amber allegedly chucked the baby onto Andrew because she didn't want to watch him and she called him it. And she was screaming about how she did not want this baby. So it really does seem like it's dangerous for James to be with her. So, so, so it really, so it really just, so it really does seem like it's dangerous for James to be with her. For those of you who are curious about um, the evidence that was entered into the trial, the evidence list included two audio recordings, um, in addition to an email explaining the car ride audio, three ring videos, and 22 photos provided by the Indiana Metropolitan Police Department. There was also an audio recording of Andrew's statement, charging information, a two-page criminal history of Amber, and incident report and prior conviction court documents. So just to reiterate the terms of Amber's probation, she is not allowed to leave uh, Marion County, Indiana, unless it's for work purposes. And if she tries to leave for anything else, she does need to get written permission from her probation officer. So let's talk about this. Amber is not going to be sentenced to jail time. Um, even though she was sentenced to 906 days, they suspended it, blah, blah, blah. Although Amber is not going to be going to jail per se, it is a suspended sentence. Remember, this is like similar to what Ryan Edwards had in uh, Team Mamouji also, where he was given a suspended sentence and then he violated his probation and then did ultimately end up having to serve the jail time. So Amber can potentially mess up her probation and actually find herself doing the time if that is the case. She's got random drug testing. I think she's on drugs so if she does not stop doing that like that's something that could violate her she's been ordered to do at least six months of batterers intervention program which by the way i think is quite useful that's over half a year that she has to spend learning and trying to understand why what she does is wrong and you know her freedom rides on it so she better take it seriously i think that is a really good incentive to get her in there and try to rehabilitate her once and for all all. They're also subjecting her to parenting classes as well. Um, you know, of course, going back to the drug violation, she's going to have to stay off of drugs. So these three things are beneficial both to Amber, um, society, like the people that she's with, 
and her children. Um, and I do think that in some respects, they are more beneficial to them than Amber just going to jail and not having to um, be forced to go to classes that teach her that abusing people is wrong. And going to classes that teach her that, you know, she needs to step up her game as a parent and the impact that she has on her children. And, um, not forcing her to stay off of drugs because you do often hear from people who've been in jail that like it's quite easy to get drugs in there so although i am disappointed that she was not sentenced to any kind of real jail time like right off the bat i am quite happy with all of the stipulations of her probation because i think they're beneficial to um, her and the world around her and um and I, I i also appreciate the fact that if she um does not take any of that seriously she will ultimately have to serve jail time so what you're going to get here is amber doing all of these classes to make her a better person and if she doesn't do that then you'll also get that other thing that a lot of people want which is for her to go to jail so the it really is kind of win-win in that respect when you look at it from that perspective. But, you know, enough about my opinions. As usual, I'm more excited to hear what you have to say about everything. So please make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.